so friends if i quickly relate um, you know my x and fx in terms of a machine learning problem then what i can say is suppose x and if i consider the housing price prediction problem then x is say one of the variable right one of the predictor and say it is the square feet of the house right this is x and when i say i move from x plus h so that means i'm saying uh, so this is my graph here and say my price looks and this is my say sale price of the property and this is my square feet of the house right and say this is the area okay so what i'm saying is x plus h so say x is um, say 1000 square feet and h or 1000 plus say i'm taking a very small amount say 0 0.00001 feet okay so say these two are this equation and then i'm taking the slope so here h h is a in this example h could be 0 0.00001 square feet okay and if i uh, keep adding you know this small amount to my uh, original value of x which is 1000 in this example then i want to see how much it is going to impact my sale price so sale price will change between these two right here it is some value and then here it is some value okay so hope in the real world uh, this x and this x plus s means nothing more than that x is your one of the predictor or one of the feature right x plus h is nothing but if i move little bit up in terms of square feet a little bit an uh, additional value then i want to see how much it is going to impact my sale price which is represented by f of x so i hope this is clear now and how you can tie this concept to your machine learning problem and because you are only considering one variable in this case in the case of housing price in this particular example h is your the square feet area of the house now that means we are taking only one variable and that is why it's called as univariate okay so let's this is the ground uh, foundation that we need now let's see more interesting things uh, and how we can eventually you know come to a conclusion and use calculus for more operations all right till then have a great day